hi good morning everybody so in today's video I'm gonna show you how I'm going to reseed my dog run as you can see here there is pretty uh, much patchy areas in the grass um, some of the yellowing is from the dog urine and dog poop um, my dogs they are very active <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can see some of the damage that they already did to my trees that I planted last fall. So I'm hoping that they uh, they make it. The two in the back, they're doing pretty good. But I had a female dog that uh, decided to chew and gnaw off my Moringa tree. So I had to add... Um, rocks over everything so she wouldn't dig the trees out which she did multiple times to every single one of these <sighs> so let's see how they do with the rocks on top normally i would have left it open so that way i could add more soil and fertilizer to it every year but anyways that's a whole nother project on its own let's focus back on the grass so you can see that in the middle of the grass it's all lumpy so let me just give you a backstory on this area. This was all rock. All of this was completely rocked. There was no fencing. So we decided to add this wrought iron. And enclose it. This gate was done by Southwest Ironworks. And then my husband, what he did was he removed the rocks along with my my daughter and my godchildren um, and then he dug it all up we moved and dispersed the rocks here to one side and to other parts of our yard um, and then once this was leveled out we added let's see what did we add we added topsoil seed manure and then we just kept layering like that until it went up to this edge right here and that was pretty much where we oh that was the gate um leveled it up to now over the years with having just one dog which didn't cause too much um issues with it which we mainly did this dog run for him his name was bruiser but he passed away um he got to you know use and enjoy the yard for what it was um until he passed but then we got three dogs and those little heathens decided to like just dig holes pee on everything and when i say these heathens i meant one specific dog <laughs> but nonetheless i love them all and um now that everything i had time to bring the items in and the dogs are for the most part calm and it's cool I'm going to go ahead and get it started today. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to rake. I'm not going to aerate, but I'm just going to rake up and sort of loosen up the soil that you do see. And then I'm going to um, add soil. And it's a mixture this time. I'm using just regular garden soil, which I did put garden soil, in-ground garden soil, on my lawn in bald spots in my, air, in my yard. And it did great i did nothing else i didn't add seeds i did nothing else but just add the garden soil and water and when i say water is like sprinkler water not even going out there to actually water it and it did fantastic it greened it up it like grew in fabulously so i'm hoping i'm going to do the same thing here so i'm going to get the garden soil mix it with topsoil because obviously topsoil is a lot cheaper then the garden soil, um, I got the seeds. It's a Bermuda because Bermuda loves the heat and it does well in droughts. And so, yeah, that's the grass we have for the rest of our yards. So we want to continue with that. And what else do I have? I think pretty much that's it. I already put down um, leftover peat moss that I had a while ago that I was using for my turtle habitat right here. I had some remainder and so I just kind of threw it out there and be just because I don't have 
um, irrigation or anything here. I do have to water this at, by hand. And so I figured ah, I might as well just throw the rest of it out there. And it did help in some areas. Um, so other than that, I'm just going to put the garden soil, manure, seed, topsoil, mix it all together with the rake and level it out as much as I can. And then we'll go from there. Okay, guys, I'm back. Man, that was hard. Okay, so I just got done raking the little area. And to be honest, that part wasn't that hard. It was just, I'm out of shape. So it was a little hard for me. But <sighs> there's already grass, right, guys? So the only parts that I really had to do a good raking was these bare spots. Just to kind of help loosen up the soil. So when I do add all the seed and soil and everything on top, the seeds can actually grow better into the ground. Because, you know, here in El Paso, the ground is very, very hard. And it just gets compacted real easily. And, um, yeah, most of our ground is just a mess. So, anyways. So, I just used my little rake here. Nothing, nothing amazing. I just got this, like, a long time ago at, like, Lowe's or Home Depot or something. Super cheap and ex expensive. This is the brand. And I just went along from the very front. And I just started scraping all the parts that you see. The ground. And then where you see the grass. I didn't really do much. I just did a light raking. Just to help uh, loosen up the soil that is in between the patchy spots. And that's it. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is add the soil. Stay tuned. Okay, so in the last clip, I told you how I raked it. Like I said, very easy. Um, my dogs actually did a pretty good job digging it up uh, for me. So it wasn't that hard. But then, I'm going to go ahead and add these items. And when it comes to garden soil, I really don't care. Um, I get whatever is on sale because it's specifically just for a dog run. I know it's going to get messed up because of my doggies hi pups <laughs> they don't want to come into the dog run because they they think they're gonna go inside so <laughs> they're just standing out there watching me hi puppies so i'm gonna pretty much do it in this order or i might just do the garden soil lay it then put some seed and then then topsoil and then do the whole routine again and then I would top it off with manure um I'm not wearing the proper clothes to handle manure right now and I don't feel like doing that because I'm doing laundry so that will come later with the hubby okay see you in the next clip all right and we're back so this is with just two bags one garden soil and one topsoil add it so as you can see for the spots that i'm trying to fill i think it's going to do the trick i only bought four bags two bags of each and then with the seed and then adding the manure i think we'll be good because it's not too much that i need to fill in and then of course i know that once i water it down it's going to compact but long as it's for the most part leveled and not as bumpy as it is, which I don't know if you guys could see. But you see, you could just tell exactly where the dogs track back and forth. Because it's a completely bare, bumpy, rocks are thrown in there. But again, it's still not that deep. So once I fill that in, water it down, it is going to come packed, but long as the Bermuda has something to grow onto, it's going to pretty much make it lush. Just like this part of my yard. See? And that's all we did. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting down the rest of the soil. I'm going to rake it. So it's pretty much even. I'm going to add the seeds in between. And then I'm going to water and then I'll be done. Just added the easy seed from Scott's. All 
I am tired. All right, guys. So what I did now was after I added the bags of topsoil and the garden soil mixed with the seed, I raked it all down, as you can see here. And then I smoothed it out with my shovel. And all I did was get the back of the shovel I just did this because it'll help flatten out and compact the soil a little bit and so all I got to do now is have the hubby add the manure and edge it up to again that line that edger like level it up to there as much as we can and then just water and that'll be it and again I don't expect this this area to be like 100% perfect because I do have dogs so I expect them to use it for what it's used for it's a dog run I expect them to play in it pee and poop in it and there is going to be spots where it's going to be bare but I'm okay with that but I just want them to have enough grass where they can lay and relax when they are in the dog run um, instead of just trying to do their business on hot rocks and um pretty much just get dirty from the rock area so they get this area that area And so pretty much guys that was it look at that i feel really good about it i think it's going to grow well i saturated the grass pretty thoroughly the soil pretty thoroughly and now the only thing i'm going to have to work on is keeping the birds out and convincing my dog somehow like this little guy not to dig it all up but I appreciate all of you guys watching the little process that I did this morning. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.